What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it has been quite some time since I have been able to post a video. It has been about 8 to 10 days. I want to get back on track because that is the longest stretch I have gone without posting a video on the channel in about a year. So, got to get back on track. Today we are going to be fishing at a canal. I'm going to show you guys a couple baits that you need to be able to catch fish in any canal system. Doesn't matter where you're at in the valley. Glendale, Tolleson, Mesa, Chandler, Scottsdale. Whether you're fishing canals off of Thunderbird, up in Scottsdale, off Indian School, over here in Chandler. It does not matter where. These baits are going to be able to catch you fish anywhere. Are they going to catch quality? They will, but they're going to catch you more quantity over quality. But you'll still have the opportunity to get a couple nice bass on them. But this is all you need. You come out here for fun. We're not out here to try to get a 20 pound bag. We're out here to just have a good time. So the baits are a little bit smaller, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned and shoot. Let's go crank them. All right, guys. Guys, there's like three little bass literally right here. I'm hoping because it's almost later in the day, these fish are going to get aggressive. And hopefully we'll have an opportunity to get on a couple fish. And I just hung up inside a grocery cart. A grocery cart is brand new. Someone just pushed that in there. Grocery carts are excellent structure, guys. But man, if you don't see them right away, they're very, very easy to hang up in. Man, that thing is kicking up. Oh, we're hooking up right here, guys. Little bass right there. He just got bit. He just kind of nipped it. Super finesse bite. That was weird. I'm thinking as the sun goes down a little bit more, we'll have an opportunity to catch something right around this bridge. In the meantime, because it's still pretty hot out, I think a lot of fish are going to be hanging out and kind of staged up where there's any sort of heavy water flow. So down near that water flow over there, we should be able to pull a few fish out. And there are a ton of little baby bass. I mean, a ton of them, guys. Freaking insane. Really good to see because I haven't seen many baby bass in here since I was a little kid. I mean, you'll catch them every now and then, but you typically don't see them. Now that I'm seeing them, it's good. Maybe the population in this canal system slowly coming back. Oh, there we are. Little dude. Picked it up on the drop, guys. That's awesome. Gotta love canal fishing, guys. You catch a lot of fish fairly quick, and the fish are typically pretty feisty. All you need. Not a whole lot right there. Not a big bass also, but I mean, just a fun little catch. Get that bugger back in. A little nose dive. That is a really good sign though, hooking up pretty much right away. Always try different depths too. If you're not catching the fish from the top surface down to the middle, let it sink all the way to the bottom and fish every single part of the water column that you can. Try different speeds. Um, try to drag it. Maybe try to pop it along. Slow steady retrieval, fast uh, steady retrieval. Because one of these ways is gonna trigger a bite and could trigger a ton of them. Just gotta figure out the way that they, they want this thing moving. All right guys, we're hooked up. Little guy, little guy, but he is fighting so much harder than the size that he actually is. Holy crap, that is freaking awesome. Man, these canal bass, guys, they pull so freaking hard. All I did with that one was cast it straight down the bank, cast it at maybe 20, 30 feet down the bank, and the second it hit the water, I just let it fall, and he just whacked it the second it started falling, so. Seems like they're hitting it on the drop today, which is good, because that's one of my favorite ways to catch these bass in the canal systems. Another thing, guys, I know this video seems like one of my old videos. Sorry about the wind, but the little wind muffler actually fell off like two videos ago, and I still have to put a new one on, but I can't find the little sticky pads for it, so I have to purchase them on Amazon. So I'm really sorry about the wind noise. It will definitely be cut off by the next time I have another video up. That was a perfect skip. There's gotta be a fish right there. Bro, you hit it on the drop, guys. Little dude, little dude. Micro dude, but man, he nailed it. Look at this guy. You're probably not gonna get any smaller than this in the canal. And the fact that this little guy can get a hold of it, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, kind of prop him up with the finger. It's insane. Get back, dude. Go big. Every fish has been on the drop. What a slap. There we are. 
might be able to hook up right here. It actually went pretty far down there. Better fish. Better fish. Oh no, not even better. Just felt way, way better when I set the hook. Hit it on the drop again, guys. I mean, look how, look how they're hitting it. Just inhaling it. Little micro dude, check that dude out. These guys are whacking it like they're solid, like one or two pounders. But they're just little squeakers. There we are, that's a good one right there. Let that sucker sink. There we are. Better fish, guys. Better fish. Oh no. Dude freaking cranked it. Little bass. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of bass in here. Yeah. Bass, tilapia, catfish. Yeah. The majority of fish that you're probably seeing are uh, tilapia, carp, a few catfish here and there. But right on. Have a good one, man. All right, guys. Well, that was hands down the best one. He just freaking crushed it. On the drop again, too. Something about that slow drop today. They're just loving it. One thing I noticed when I fish this portion is the closest I can get to the inside part of the wall right here, the better chance I have of catching a fish. For some reason, they just love being right there. Probably gonna jinx myself, guys, but my hookup ratio is actually pretty freaking good today. It's not like the little frog video I did at a pond in the previous video or the next video. I don't know when I'm gonna put that up, but man, that video, I struggled hard freaking core. That was tough. Still got a few fish up, but man, that was a tough one. I'm actually doing, doing all right. Can't complain. That'd be something right inside that pipe. Usually there's a ton of catfish and a couple bass around there. People forget that catfish eat these little uh, paddle tails too. I catch so many channels in the canals on paddle tail swim baits, small podgy swimmers, uh, my fat pack, little fast swimmers. Make sure you guys go check them out and also use promo code SWFishing101 for 15% off. I need water, otherwise I'm a fall over I feel like. And look how awesome this water is. Beautiful right there. Just steaming hot and barely comes out. Yeah, warm and hydrating. Gotta get one or two more. I am 100% happy with how today's gone. Nothing big, one solid fish, handful of uh, little dinks. I mean, you just can't complain. You come out to the canal for fun. You don't come out to uh, load up or get like a 20 pound bag or anything crazy like that. Come out here, take a few casts, throw some small baits around, have a good time, catch some little dinks, match your gear to the fish so that it's still fun. The fish has an opportunity to get away, so it's still kind of a sport. Because if you come out here with your normal bass gear that you use out at the lakes, you're gonna tear every fish in like absolute crazy. That's why I always go spinning combos, go very light action, six pound test, just so that these fish have an opportunity. All right guys, so I wanted to stop for a second and just talk to you guys about some of the baits that you can use in the canal systems to be able to pull a few of these fish out. Obviously the fish, they're not all big. A lot of them are small, but at the end of the day, if you can get on a few fish, that's all that matters. I mean, we come out here for fun. We don't come out, out here to put up insane numbers and have a 20 pound bag. We come out here to escape a little bit right after work and just enjoy ourselves a little bit. And, and in my opinion, canal fishing is the best urban fishing that you can do. If you kind of start figuring it out a little bit, hands down, the best fishing in my opinion. But we're gonna start off real quick, the little Berkeley Podgy Swimmer. I've talked about these multiple times. I don't know why this thing won't focus. Let's see, there it is, little Podgy Swimmer. These guys 
freaking slay. You could pick these things up at Walmart, Bass Pro, anywhere. Bass Pro has their own brand. Uh, this is a little 1 16th ounce one. You guys can use, of course, the three inch one, which I believe is about a quarter of an ounce, so a little bit bigger. That will allow you to be able to fish deeper water in the canal. That will also allow you to get your bait further down in any sort of current. Because this little guy just kind of flutters around in the current. It can't really get down there. So if you use a little bit bigger one, it will get down there further, possibly get you bigger fish. And it will still allow you to have a ton of freaking success in the canals and have a lot of fun in the canals as well. The next option, guys, a little paddle tail swim bait. This is a fat pack fast swimmer right here. This is a sexy shad color. An awesome, awesome color for the canal systems. The canal systems are typically very, very simple. You don't need any crazy colors, very natural colors, sexy shad, pearl white. That just kind of resembles small bass, small bay fish, small baby tilapia, stuff like that. Those are the three primary forage that the bass are gonna eat in the canal systems. So that is what I recommend to use. Obviously you can use little curly tail grubs like this one right here. This one I like to use at night because the dark silhouette with all the lighting around the canal systems, this works excellent and you can catch a lot of bass on them. But if it's during the day, I like the pearl white. This is a three inch. You can use anywhere from a two to a three inch curly tail grub and you will catch a ton of fish on them. And when it comes to jig heads, I'm very simple, very simplistic. You don't need a whole lot. I just go with the basic little eagle claw. You don't need a whole lot. I like to use these just because they're cheap. Pick them up at Walmart, you can pick them up at Bass Pro, wherever. These ones are 1 16th ounce. You can use a 1 16th all the way up to a 1 8th. I wouldn't really recommend going any higher than a 1 8th in the canal unless you're using a podgy swimmer just because I just feel like it falls too, too quick, honestly. The podgy swimmer, even though it's a quarter of an ounce, it still flutters down fairly slow because of how the body is shaped and when the current's pushing around it allows the drop to be slower so that's just what i've noticed personally but you don't need a whole lot i mean literally look all this stuff fits in a little tiny bag like this you don't need a whole lot like this is all you need to come out catch fish have a good time in the canal system so just a quick little talk about what I like to use. Obviously, you can use Ned Rigs. Uh, jerk baits work well in here. Rooster tails, small square bills. There's a lot of things that work in the canal systems. But this is what I use year round, winter, spring, summer, fall, and I catch fish every single time I come to the canal because you just use simple baits like this. You don't need a whole lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's get back to the fishing. Let's go crank a few more. Oh man, it's weird fishing from over here. I'm on though. I'm on. Better fish. Better fish. That is so weird. Different angle. Oh my gosh, barely a hook guys. Little guy right there. That was so strange, man. Maybe I should start fishing the other side of the canal a little more. The next video I'm thinking of doing is actually doing a topwater canal video just throwing poppers old rapalas frogs stuff like that obviously they're going to be smaller profile baits not going to be like a full-size frog or anything like that but i think it could still be pretty freaking fun doing that i would have to do it first thing in the morning i feel like that would be my best opportunity at getting any sort of topwater fish in the canal oh my gosh guys oh my gosh i got freaking nailed right away I got nailed. That was a good sized fish. Look, he pulled the whole thing out. Oh my gosh, I was looking down the canal and I just screwed that up. Holy crap, that was a good fish. Hands down the biggest fish of the day. Could have been a tilapia, never know. Now I can't cast down there. I got that bad luck rolling now. Aw oh man, probably not gonna have another opportunity at that fish. The amount of fish I would be around it would be insane. Little bugger. Little dude. Get on up. Get on up. Oh no, dude. Little guy right there, guys. Concrete hot, dude. I hate it when they flop off like that because I'm like, man. Being a fish, touching that asphalt for the first time. You're like, what, what, what is this person doing to me? Be tripping out, too. I wish I got that one that was underneath the bridge. That dude freaking knocked it. I mean, my whole rod went bendo. I was just looking to the left and that dude just slurped it up. 